He used the fastnesses of the Cumra Mountains for shelter, refuge and cover. One hiding place was in a cave set on a cliff overlooking the lake at Coongara, now known as Crotty's Lake. From this vantage point, near inland bridge, he could survey the surrounding countryside and see the arrival of the redcoats in pursuit of him in plenty of time to make his escape. Crotty did not work alone, but he had a gang. These were Darby Dooley, David Norris, John Cunningham, William Cunningham, Patrick Hickey, the first two of whom later testified at his trial against him, while Norris actually informed the authorities about the whereabouts of his hideaway. Crotty and his men stole money, horses, silk clothes, and in one place he stole rings, which he gave with the clothes to his wife Mary. It should be noted that Crotty and most of his accomplices were not down and outs, but are described as yeomen, basically substantial farmers. As well as in County Waterford, Crotty and his gang also robbed and looted in County Kilkenny. With Norris's help, however, they were captured and duly gave evidence against Crotty and the two Cunninghams, as well as against Hickey. They were all condemned to be hanged, and this deed was done on the 23rd of March in 1742 in Ballybricken in Waterford City. A large body of stories have been built around Crotty's name in County Waterford folklore. There are stories about his hidden gold, and he has been romanticised to the status of a great folk hero.